I'm back sitting with the victors of that matchup. Shot Blockers Incorporated, how do you guys feel? First off, Miller to then tear them, then Blue Boys. Well, honestly, Clutch, I feel great. This is the second week in a row I've been on a winning skirmish team. Um, and I'm ready to go out there and do it again. I think guys performed really, really well tonight. Strategies came off pretty well. So, plus one to everybody on Shot Blockers Incorporated. And GD, GG to Kung Fu. Yeah, that couldn't have gone better. Uh, Blue, Miller, and I, we all put in the time. We worked on strats. Uh, we all took responsibilities, calling bits and pieces of it. So, uh, yeah, I've been on Miller's team before and worked with Blue and went great. Yeah, we, we tried. We worked really hard on these strats, and uh, everything went down just as we wanted it to. You know, we we did exactly what we wanted to and uh, adapted to everything they did. And in the end, we won. I feel great about it. It seemed that one of your major strengths is you at least had three individuals go for the enemy base. Uh, in the first match, I think it was two, a Convariant and someone else. Do you always have specific people of, listen, no matter what, you are trying to get into the enemy base, or is it more of you communicate during the match and, hey, you're the farthest there, go for it? Uh, those guys, those were sort of our two scouters. Uh, when they didn't find anything or didn't find the engagement and we sort of got into it with the main bulk of their forces, we just sort of let them go do their stuff, find Artie, and if they can go get on cap and distract them that way, that's, that's what we want them to do. Uh, for the majority of it, it's uh, whoever is really closest. Our, our, our basic strat when basically on the north side, when we had the, the majority of our forces in the south, the closest three, generally not the 1390s though, were cap dedicated once we uh, dealt with their health force. And uh, other than that, it's really uh, if you're not, if you can't do something useful, then you're going to cap. All right, well, that makes sense. Uh, it's important to be flexible during any time of the matchup. I feel sometimes some teams put somebody in a, in a specific spot that they have to accomplish a certain goal, um, like try to capture the enemy base, and they're not able to do it, and they have to communicate, okay, I can't do this, somebody else has to do it, and that's four or five seconds of communication you have to go through and scrambling compared to everyone being flexible. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Okay, now going back um, to the third match, Gong Fu seemed to change some things around. Uh, they seemed more aggressive, pushing into your base sooner with uh, three or four tanks. But you guys defended it well. It seemed you put a spread around one of the hillsides. Were you surprised by their tactics in the third game, or was it business as usual? Uh, I was surprised they took that route and then stopped because they they were putting a lot of... Uh effort into getting that position and then a holding there because they, 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 they took that position and just waiting there gives us more time because they do not accomplish any scouting by doing that. So they don't know where we are. They, all they do is take the position and let us know that they're at that position. So it gave us all the time we needed to push the south force into the base. Now if they'd have pushed faster and harder, it might have been a different story. I think for what it's worth personally on that, um, I was a bit surprised that they pushed immediately up there into our faces. Like Blue said, I feel like they maybe held up too long, um, stopped too long uh, at the back side of the hill, but yeah, I, I did not expect a, um, a fast push to that position. I was kind of thinking they might go with a middle rush, but hey, um, <laughs> clearly I was wrong, and uh, history played out them actually not doing that. So what's next for you, gentlemen? You just won the Skirmish 8 Finals. What do you have planned next uh, as a team? And what do you hope to accomplish in the overall future of World of Tanks for your team? We'll start once again down the line. Oh, boy. That's an excellent question. <laughs> I think as a team, um, just look to participate in some of these events more and more, bring back the same guys each week, because clearly we have some success with what we've got now. Um, as Wargaming releases more contests, hopefully maybe with a little bit bigger prizes than the skirmishes, um, <laughs> it'll be a good draw to bring bring the same guys back. And honestly, just 
get some good tournament experience. I know I've been playing in tournaments for a long time now, um, dating back to probably the middle of last year, and I think Tam and Blue are kind of in the same boat. So hopefully we'll be able to keep a solid team nucleus together and we'll be able to build for bigger and better things in the coming weeks and months. Yeah, we're always looking to to keep this core group together, uh, bring in new talent if it uh, can prove its worth. And I think the three of us are all on the uh, championship series that's coming up this spring. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm sure we're going to continue to do the challenges and the skirmishes as they come at us. I, I really enjoyed playing with these guys. And uh, like, like they said, I, I, I hope everyone sticks together and plays in the tournaments to come and win. <laughs> yeah, winning's never a bad thing. Winning is never a bad thing. We'll take that as the final, uh, the final answer to the question. But last up, where can people find you? Where can people follow you? You know, social networking is is huge in the world of esports for other established games. World of Tanks, I feel, can be another established game in the world of esports. Uh, but when it comes to your team, what website, Twitter, Facebook, where can people follow you? Right now with the team stuff, I don't think we've quite got it segregated down to one platform like that. I know all of us can be found in-game in the World of Tanks client, as well as the World of Tanks forum. Um, that's probably the best bet right now towards contacting any one of us about team stuff or maybe some questions people have. I personally was actually just recently interviewed on the World of Tanks forum, so people are curious maybe to find out a little bit more about Millard. Um, then they can look at the gameplay discussion subsection there. For the other guys, I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, we might have to get a Facebook group going or something here soon. Or Steam, maybe. That might work. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't do the whole Twitter thing, though. Uh, I, I have no idea if we have anything going on as far as uh, kind of like that public about getting people to follow us and that stuff. It's mostly just... Uh, you know, we're there if you want to talk to us, condo us, I guess. Are you guys recruiting? Yes, but only if you're incredibly clever, have a silver tongue, and have a 70% win rate. Or you're a chick. <laughs> <laughs> or you're a chick. Right, if you don't, if you don't uh, reach those qualifications, ladies and gentlemen, need not apply for simp. Well, thanks again, guys, for joining me. Congratulations on your victory. And again, a huge shout out to World of Tanks for hosting the Skirmish 8 Finals. Allow me to broadcast it to you, the world. The VODs will be available on Twitch and also on my YouTube page, youtube.com slash 8clutch, the number 8clutch. You can follow me on Twitter at clutch08 or facebook.com slash 8clutch. Look forward to doing more things for World of Tanks in the future. I'm Clutch. Have a great night.